Local Tens Day of Giving continues. It's our annual effort to help local food nonprofits collect non-perishable goods. And our very own Louis Aguirre is joining us. He's at a Publix in Miami Shores right now. <laughs> yes. And I know you've got a lot yes. of love going we are, on there. I am, working. You're working. We, we are filling boxes right now. We've got how many pounds of food we have right now? We have 675. 675. Oh. And this goes to our veterans. This is for Make-A-Wish veterans. We're helping to put food on the Thanksgiving table for so many vets here in our South Florida community that need and need and deserve our love and our generosity today. And love to see Miami Shore stepping up and helping out with this tremendous effort that we've been, you know, this is our ninth year. I can't believe we started this in 2014. So far collected over 83,000 pounds of food. And today, I think we're going to bust out all totals because remember, we've been off for the past couple of years because of the pandemic. And so this is our first year back. And it's wonderful to be back with the community and seeing everybody's smiling faces. And, you know, I got to meet some of our beautiful and generous viewers that came out to, uh, hello, how are you, sir? Thanks for coming out. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, sir, for your let me, let me introduce you to some of my friends that I met here today at the uh, Miami Shores Publix. Allison, my sister-in-law, brought us here today, um, who lives here in Miami. And where do you live? We're in New York. We're oh, in you New live York. in New York? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Man, New Yorkers that came to South Florida to be a part of our day of giving? This is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. How important is this for you? How important it is? Yeah. It's extremely important. It's something we've done for years and years. And um, now that Allison's here in Miami, she, you know, participates in a lot of giving in, in various communities. Allison, so, we have to recruit you. Yeah, I mean, look, at, you're, you're amazing. Look what you did. Amazing. Well, we used to have so none of us have kids. And so we take great joy in going to do toy shopping for kids together. And as Lewis said, it was a tradition that we had in New York and and the guys were here this week, so we said, all right, well, let's make it a point of doing it in Miami, and that'll be a new tradition for us. Well, thank you for importing your tradition. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, Princess, you put me to work. Where do you want this? Yeah, I want, I want the dry Look at this, man. Here. She is a drill yeah. sergeant over here. Up here? She, you want her up here? Okay. All right. I want all of the canned goods. Okay. All right. So, as you can see, I have a lot of work to do. i got to put all of these bags of groceries. This came from our generous, beautiful viewership. Hello, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming out. And so Princess is putting me to work. I got to organize everything, put these in boxes. So I'm waiting for Betty. Uh, she's on her way. <laughs> and, you know, so the gauntlet has been thrown. I understand that there are, there, are, there are challenges that need to be met from Team Chrissy and Team Janice and Team Nicole and Team Calvin. I want to tell you, challenge accepted and we are well on our way. I got you, Princess. Man, she's like cracking the whip over here. Okay, listen. Listen, I got to go. I got to go back to work. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, okay goodbye. You know, I, I have to say that we looked adorable in our, our um, aprons, our turkey aprons. I don't know, those that, but, but those plaid, plaid pants. <laughs> Louis may have beat all of us. I think he, so. That's he looks stylish. the best and uh -huh. clearly has the muscle. Yes. So lift those boxes. And Princess needs to make him work hard. I like her.